Good evening. The football community has said goodbye to Phil Walsh 11 days after he was murdered at his Somerton Park home. The 55-year-old Adelaide Crows coach remembered as the ultimate professional with a cheeky side few knew about. It was time to celebrate the life of Phil Walsh. Family, friends and the AFL community gathering at the Oval where he plied his trade. They came in hundreds. His beloved players, supported by their wives and girlfriends, wearing the Crows' colours with pride. Administrators and on-field rivals uniting to honour a remarkable 32-year career, beginning at Collingwood with longtime friend Mark Williams, who gave an insight into Walsh's cheeky side. I remember the first time we went to uh, Ronald McDonald's after our first game and he had a beautiful dried flower arrangement so Phil decided he'd set that on fire. That's the sort of guy he was. Family friend Sharon Watts spoke of Walsh's notorious competitive streak, something everyone in the room could relate to. He was a fierce competitor from early age and hated losing. Tennis matches against his sisters were sometimes torrid affairs. In front of the lectern, a table holding Phil Walsh's great loves. Chocolate, red wine, a Japanese language book and green tea. There was no football memorabilia, but there didn't need to be. No one doubted how much the game meant to Walsh and that was a focus of his celebration. It was a really impressive service and um, some great speakers and I think it was handled with great dignity. All were heartbroken for wife Meredith, who was injured in the attack that claimed her husband's life, and daughter Quinn, who was overseas when she received a phone call that will forever change her. It's an amazingly emotional time for the family, uh, for Meredith and the children, and um, everyone in the football public's behind them. And before the service ended, there was a prayer for Cy Walsh, who remains in a psychiatric hospital charged with his father's murder. We can't forget Cy either, so to include him in our thoughts. As mourners said goodbye, many were still wondering why a father figure to so many was taken in such a cruel way. You think you've seen everything in football, but this one uh, is certainly way outside the square. But uh, yeah, lovely tribute to Phil today. These young men will be back here on Sunday for the biggest showdown of them all. They just wish Phil Walsh was here to see it. And Tom Wren is live at Adelaide Oval. Tom, fans have embraced their chance to honour Phil Walsh at this weekend showdown. No doubt about that, Kate. The match is officially a sellout showdown 39. And in a great show of unity, the fans will march together from Gawler Place at 1.30 and the match starts at 2.50. So that will be no doubt a sight to see. And then on the ground itself, the two sides will run out through the same banner led by their respective captains, Travis Boak for the power and Taylor Walker for the Crows. So, Kate, there is sure to be plenty of emotion for those fans and, of course, the players again on Sunday. A game that won't be forgotten. Thank you, Tom. Mm.